Hi there, and today I'm going to turn the Lego City ice cream shop into the style of a modular building. So this is Lego set 60363, which is the Lego City ice cream shop, and it was released in June 2023. And first of all, we're going to take a quick look at it and its features, and then we're going to give it a darn good modifying. So first of all, I'm going to tell you the things about this set that I really like. And the first one of those is just how it looks. Lego have done a really nice job with these curved windows, and they've done that in quite a few sets recently. And it gives it a really nice sort of vintage ice cream shop vibe. So by using these light blue curved bricks, they've given it this really nice rounded look to the end of the windows. But as well as the rounded ends, they've also done this lovely curved window on the other side. As with many Lego City sets, they've done one of these nice large 3D signs. On the grocery shop last year, they had a large carrot outside. And on this one, they've chosen a wafer cone with three different flavors of ice cream in it. And another really nice touch, which I like, is that they've made it look as if that ice cream is melting down onto the roof, flowing across the roof, and then down the front of the building. Inside the front door, they've got this nice pot plant for the various customers to look at. And on the other side, they've got the counter to serve customers at. The counter's really long and runs further down than the customers see, with various different flavors of ice cream Cream, wafer cones and what looks like a smoothie maker at the end and then right down the end behind the counter we've got some chilled cabinets with ice lollies in the bottom and milk in the top the set comes with three minifigures a lady dressed up as a polar bear who works in the shop to serve people ice cream a dad holding his mobile phone and a chocolate ice cream and a child with a short unarticulated legs holding another ice cream and a balloon i'm guessing it's this child's birthday as as well as the balloon he also comes with a large present they also have this slightly strange bike with front carrier for them to travel to the ice cream shop and then the last few accessories include a direct sign to the ice cream with the same logo on as the employee's torso and the big sign on the roof and then finally we have a double-sided menu board and a smoothie and so moving on to a few things that i'm not so keen on firstly like i said earlier i really like the curved window on the corner however to achieve that they've used this semi-circular white plate so underneath this two by four tile there is a large gap showing the other half of the semicircle, which looks fine from above but gives you this really weird gap when you look at it from the side one minor gripe at the back of the building is that they've used this one by 14 brick in light bluish grey when this piece does actually come in white so they could have easily used white to match the rest of the set. But the thing I dislike most like so many Lego City sets is that it's completely open on the back. So unlike the grocery store which I modified last year they at least have given us a roof with this set but that roof in the back corner is being completely held up by this door frame which is great giving the employees a back door into the building but fairly pointless when the entire building doesn't have a back wall. Now I've got all the modular buildings that Lego have released since they started and I thought it'd be really nice to give this a modular style so it can fit in with all my other buildings. Now modular buildings are all constructed on the classic Lego flexible base plate, whereas all Lego city sets are now built on regular plates. And the ice cream shop is particularly unusual as it uses one of these large 16 by 16 L-shaped plates, which is actually two plates thick. Now before the main modification, I'm just going to make a few small detail changes. The first one is where they've joined this 8x8 dark tan plate to the light grey L-shaped base of the shop. They've used these light grey modified plates to bridge the gap between the two pieces, which means outside the front door you've got this classic trip hazard ready for a minifigure to sue Lego City. So the quick solution is to use three tiles to fill the gaps. So we've got some one by twos on each of the sides there and then a two by two L-shaped tile in the middle and then that matches up all nicely down the sides. The next change is really minor but it is one that which really annoys me and it involves the dripping ice cream on the roof. Under the drips is this two by three white plate which obstructs the flow of ice cream. So if we remove that and replace it by a one by three plate and three one by one plates in the appropriate colours and then replace the three curves. There's nice uninterrupted flow across the roof and up and over the front. Next, we need to give the building two back walls. Unfortunately, if we just fill up this wall with bricks, we're gonna have a large green space at the end of it where the two refrigerated chilled cabinets are. And we've got the same problem on the other side because if we try and build a wall here, we've got the pay station and obviously the counter where customers are served. Now we do have space to move both these items over into the corner. However, both of them will foul on the bottom of this curved window here. So what I'm gonna do is raise the cabinets and the counters up one plate level so it will sit on top of this curve. So what I'm going to do initially is pick a 2 by 8 there with a 2 by 2 next to it and then in the corner I've got these tiles which can sit there and a smaller one just in front of it and a white 2 by 2 plate on the other side. And both these units can now move in one stud, that one to there, this one to here, and sit in the corner happily, leaving space for a one stud wall to go right down the edge. So next we're going to move on to the main event of building that one stud thick wall. Now I really like the idea of having this blue stripe running around top and bottom, but Lego views this one by one brick which is five bricks tall, so we're going to have to take that out to make the blue stripe top and bottom. 
So first of all, we're going to reinstate that door which was in the corner. And to match the other door on the front of the building, we've got another blue glass door here. And they had that ice cream swirl being used as a door handle. So we're going to add another one of those. And first of all, we're going to add a layer of white at the bottom. So we've got a one by one and a one by ten. And then we're going to do that blue layer using the pale light blue. And then just to add a bit of interest, we're going to stick a few windows on this side. Now I'm using white window frames and to match the windows on the front of the building, we're going to use transparent blue glass in those. So we can have a post on this side, a window, a post in the middle, another window, and these two are both opening outwards, and then a post on the end. Then to tie in with the rest of the blue stripe, we're going to do more pale blue bricks on top, like that. And I've just noticed on this head, having those two one by two bricks here is making this a little bit wobbly and not joined together. So what I'm actually going to do is remove those two one by twos and replace it with a one by four. Then that's going to be a lot more sturdy. So as with the other side, I'm going to take that column out of this corner here, and then I'm going to build up before with a row of white. So we've got a 1x2, a 1x10, and another 1x2. And then to match, we've got a row of blue. Like that. And then as this wall is longer than the first, because we don't have the door, we're using 1x2 bricks in between the windows. So we've got a 1x2, a window, another 1x2, window, and a 1x2. And then to finish it off, our row of blue bricks on the top. So one by four, one by three, one by three, one by three, and that one by two which we took off earlier. And then lastly, we're going to reinstate that support which we took out earlier. But like I said, this one by 14 grey brick is actually um, one of the ones with slots in it that you use for garage door mechanisms. And this does come in white, so we're going to swap that over and replace it with white. And so that's the back walls completed, and I think that looks really good from this angle. Now, as I said before, all LEGO modular buildings come on flexible base plates, and normally these are 32 by 32. But as this is a smaller building, what we're going to use is a 16 by 32. But however, if we put this on our base plate, you can see that this lovely little flower bed is sticking out the side. So what we're going to do is going to take that off the side and move it onto the back. But if we take that flower bed out, it does leave us with this rather unsightly Technic brick. So we're going to take that out and swap it for a 1x4 white brick. So I'll quickly popped out that side wall and we're going to take out that Technic brick and plate. We're going to take the grey one off top and put it below, then add a 1x4 white brick on top just to match everything else. And then with the rest of the wall reinstated it looks a lot tidier along this side. So I've now placed the ice cream shop on top of our base plate and I've left eight studs at the front because that's normally what modular buildings have um, sort of as a tiled pavement in front of their building. So what I'm going to do is tile this out next. I'm going to leave two spaces for the uh, sign to go up here but to save you getting bored I'm going to do that with a little bit of time lapse. And there we have our pavement, which matches the style of most of the other modular buildings. We have our one stud wide, light grey uh, sort of curbstone, and then two by two paving stones behind. There's a grill piece here, and like I said, we left two spaces over there, ready for that sign. So from the front, we've got this, uh, the dark tan plate is now level with the uh, pavement, and we've only got a one plate thickness step up to the door. However, at the back, we've got a slightly higher step, so what we're gonna use is a one by four plate. And then two one four tiles, we're going to make a little step up to the door at the back. And then on the other side of the door, we want to reinstate that little garden. However, it's got these two bricks with Technic pins on them, so that's not going to fit in very well next to the building. So what we're going to do is swap that out for a regular two by four brick. So adding the final touches, we're going to take that ice cream sign which we had and take the base off it and add it to those two studs at the front. We're then going to add our roof back on. 
And there we have our completed modularized ice cream shop. And personally, I really like how this has turned out. It looks really great from the front, especially with this pavement on it, which is gonna match all my other modular buildings. And this is the finished view from the back. So we've got our two blue stripes wrapping around the entire building. We've added a door to the door frame. And of course, we've got those windows with the opening blue glass. So the original set had 296 parts and we have added 80 pieces to that. But fortunately, none of those pieces were particularly rare. I had most of the parts in my collection already. The main one I didn't have was this one by 14 light gray brick, which I swapped out for that white one. And there were a few other parts which I had to order specifically, like the blue glass in the windows. So I'm really pleased how this has turned out. I really enjoy turning Lego city sets into modular style sets so they can go into my Lego city. Let me know what you think of this modification in the comments below. If you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe for more Lego videos. Thank you